Okay, so I'm back into the original control object here and I'm going to talk about alarms. But first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this draw command so that it, what it does draw is my health rather than the weapon. So this is going to draw the health on the screen. And I've remembered to put the object in the room so you can actually see it. Now, say if, for example, I wanted to make it so that, let's make it so that in 200 frames from the start of the game, your health is reduced by 20. Something, just it's just a rule of the game that once 200 frames have passed, that's 800, let's make it 200. Once 200 frames have passed, then your health goes down by 20. Well, what, the way that we do this is we set alarms. And I'm going to do this in create because it's going to happen from the moment that it's, it's begun. So we have alarm, and then in square brackets, you could do the number of the alarms. So you can do like zero, you can start from like zero with, with alarms. You go zero, one, two, three, and so on. Then we're going to set how equal it equal to how many frames it's going to take. So 200. So it takes 200 frames. And what I would do here is I would add an event of the alarm, alarm zero. So this is what happens when the alarm like ticks off. So it, it's like a timer, so to speak. Well, when this happens, the variable of health minus equals 20. So let's see if this works. Yes, see, it went down after 200 frames had passed. So that happened. Now say if instead of that, probably a more realistic and a more useful goal of this would be your health regenerates over time. Like this happens in some games where, you know, if, you, if you're not being hurt, your health will slowly but surely go up. I don't want to make it go up by one every step because that would be too powerful. And let's make it so that your health starts at 20. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's make sure your health starts at 70. Just for now, because I've put the, if you remember, the maximum health that is, that's available is 100. So you need to actually watch it go up. If I started it at 100, it wouldn't go up at all because it would keep going over the max, which would just make it equal to the max. So alarm zero, let's make it happen every 30 frames, right? Now I'm going to copy this. And what I'm going to do is in the alarm, is I'm going to make health plus equal to one, but I'm also in the alarm going to reset the alarm so that in alarm zero, it, once it hits variable health plus equals one, and then it sets alarm zero to 30. So now it should slowly but surely go up. As you can see, the health, the number is going up. It's going up one at a time. Every, it, it's the first time it went off, it went off because it was triggered by the create command. Now it's being triggered by the alarm itself. So the alarm, part of the command of the alarm, is to trigger the alarm. So it's just going round and round in a circle, doing the same thing. Now, when it gets to 100, it should stop. And so it has, and that is really good because that's what we wanted. Because if you remember in the step command, the variable health is limited by a number, also depending on your superpower. And in actual fact, why not test this? Why not, just for now, change it so that your superpower is 1, the variable for your health is 95, and uh, tell you what, we'll make it, so the first time it takes 100 frames, but then once it's set off, it only takes 10 frames. So this can be like, if you imagine other games where your health doesn't recover for a while and then after, if you don't hit for so long, it then recovers quite quickly. This is what this is. But I'm also testing to see with the superpower turned on as well. So it should wait for a while without doing anything. And then it'll start going up quite quickly. Well, quicker. And as you can see, there it is. And it should hit 120? Yes. So that's basically alarms.